Hey there, and welcome to Draw Anything and Everything. I'm your artist, Mickey Malarkey. There are so many things that we can draw today, and I don't even know what I feel like drawing. Sometimes that's the hardest part when it comes to drawing, coming up with the ideas that help inspire your picture. But fortunately, we have the help of the imagination box. All you need to make a really great picture is to have something to draw on, something to draw with, and a lot of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. So, I don't know about you, but I hope that today the Imagination Box gives us something that's really unique and wonderful, so we can make a really cool picture. Let's find out. All right, our first idea for today is... A champion! Dun, 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 dun. That's like someone who wins something, like a competition. Very cool. Our second idea is... A tutu! That's like a frilly dress that a ballerina would wear. And the third and final idea is... A shark. Okay, <laughs> those are some pretty peculiar ideas. I'm very interested to see how we're gonna put them all together. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. Let's get drawing. I am very much looking forward to today's picture. We have a champion, a tutu, and a shark. All right, let's see what we can put together. I was thinking that, uh, what is my favorite kind of champion? And that's a wrestling champion. Uh, I love wrestling. So I think I'm gonna draw a shark wrestler. Um, and there's so many different kinds of shark, but I'm gonna try drawing my favorite kind, and I've never done this before. That's a hammerhead shark. They kind of have this like flat top of a head and their eyes are on different sides. One's over here, and one's over there. Have you ever seen this kind of shark? I always thought that they were such an interesting, interesting look. Um, so I'm gonna try to put our shark into this hammerhead kind of style. Um, and then uh, the nice big shark mouth, you know, oh, big pointy teeth, have it nice and wide and open. There we go. Right, lots of teeth, maybe some more here at the bottom. We'll just give them a little bit of a bottom lip. There's our hammerhead shark starting to come together. Um, and we'll have this come out, this come out. And of course, because, uh, like I said, we're gonna draw them as like a pro wrestler, so we're gonna give them a little bit of floating eye angry eyebrows. Um, and pro wrestlers, as you know, if you don't know, they're very muscular. So we're gonna, we're gonna really give our hammerhead shark this like muscular body treatment. Just make them an absolute giant. Um, so here, you know, we'll have the arm pointing upwards, right? So that's that nice big bicep. And here we have the elbow and the rest of the arm. Look how big it is. Oops, <laughs> I gave him two biceps. You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's have our uh, our wrestler uh, our wrestler hammerhead shark with two biceps. That's just how strong they are. And let's give them a nice big championship title belt. They just won the championship, and they're holding up this giant, gorgeous belt uh, to signify their victory and that they are the champions of the world. There we go. There we go. What do you think would be a good logo for uh, a shark wrestling federation? I think maybe some kind of shark fin? What do you feel about that? All right? That's our, uh, that's our championship belt. And then over here, we're going to also uh, draw another fist here because uh, obviously our shark is quite proud of itself. Uh, so let's put that across there, right? They've just won the title, right? Here's bicep number one, <laughs> bicep number two. Let's keep it consistent, right? We'll have these huge lats here, right? And our huge pectoral muscles. We're getting a little bit uh, into, uh, into the anatomy of uh, shark wrestlers. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna have the rest of the body come down this way, right? Maybe have a give our shark some abs. That's like those stomach muscles you sometimes see in uh, superheroes. All right, now we got to the point where we have to draw our tutu. So let's put our shark into a tutu. What? Yeah, I think that uh, maybe this is our shark's gimmick, 
that uh, they are the ballerina wrestler and why not you know there are so many great gimmicks and i think it doesn't really matter because our our shark here regardless of what they're wearing they are the champion look at this look at this beautiful beautiful tutu that we've just put into our shark all right and we can also have it come up a little bit so that um there's that kind of uh tank coffee look too to the top of uh to the top of our shark's look. There we go, with a little bit of trim. And oh, I forgot an elbow. So there we go with that. And of course, we want to make sure that we have nice muscular shark legs coming into wrestling boots. I like to draw them a little stumpy so that uh, you can really feel the muscular power of our, uh, of our wrestler up top. There we go, there we go. All right, beautiful. Let's now draw the turnbuckle. Those are the uh, posts that hold up the ropes in a wrestling match so we're going to draw a couple of these right and um, we're going to have uh, obviously the floor that our wrestler is on just going across there um, so now we'll finish up the turnbuckles with the bottom parts there we go and uh, there are ropes that go across so we're going to do one rope that goes across here one rope that goes across there and the third and final rope that goes across here. And for a little bit of perspective, we're going to put another turnbuckle in the back and another one over here. Right? And then we'll have this kind of come across. And see, going across from these two turnbuckles, we're going to have some more ropes there. One, two, three. And in the very back, we're going to have three more ropes going across. Two, three. And there is the mask. There is the place where our wrestler has just won the championship. Let's give our shark wrestler ballerina some color. Um, I'm going to start with our grayish blue. We're not going to end with our grayish blue. We're going to start with our grayish blue. Just get a little bit on the uh, on the outsides, right, of our multiple biceps shark wrestler. There we go. We'll get a little bit there, and a little bit there, and a little bit on the shoulders there. All right, just to give a uh, give a little bit of. Uh, color to the muscles um, and then I want to really take advantage of some blues right we're gonna have a nice bluish gray wrestler hammerhead here um, and I, I, I was thinking about this in my head I'm like a blue would really bring this guy to life and I think as you can already see that's exactly what's happening right we don't have to stop there with the blue we can go with an even darker blue right just to really give it uh, even more like this is this is a dimly lit, lit arena right 73,000 people chanting our hammerhead sharks name you know you are the champion you are the champion and look at how look at how thrilled our hammerhead is let's do one more color here let's use this kind of teal color just a little bit right can't have a hammerhead without a little bit of sea colors so there we go there we go and there we go okay this tutu you know how about a nice classic pink why not let's go with a nice classic pink tutu uh, and i think this will look really nice complementing our hammerhead and that title there we go and let's also do the same thing here with the uh with this part there i love it i love it okay boots how about uh, a nice, uh, let's go a nice purple, right? Nice purple boots to match the nice pink tutu. Okay, there we go. And for our ropes, I'm gonna use a red, right? So we're gonna have our red come right across here for one rope, our red come right across here for the second, and again for the third, and we're gonna do it for all our other ropes that are inside here too, just a nice, quick strokes, right, just to give it that color and pop. A turnbuckle can be many colors, um, usually a brown or a black. I'm going to go with uh, this dark brown here just to, just to give it that little side part. There, 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 and of course our mats will do the same color just to come across. Look at that, right, nice and easy. Nice and easy. You can do so many different quick strokes 
to give it color. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, right? It's, it's the spirit of the color that you're trying to capture. And in this case, it's that brown. Um, and for the matte itself, uh, let's take our grayish pink. You've seen me use this before. And let's give it that matte color. There we go. There we go. Look at this champion. And we can, we can end there if we wanted to, right? But I think it's important that, uh, you know, this, uh, oh, actually, I forgot something. I forgot something very important. And that is the belt itself, right? What color should this belt be? How do you feel about a, uh, like a burgundy kind of maroon color, right? I think that'll match nicely with the tutu. So I'm just gonna do that one there. I can't believe I almost forgot the belt. I always forget something, right? And finally, this gold piece there, we can do an orange to really capture the gold. There it is. It's a, not exactly a gold color, but it's it's close. Maybe if we put a little bit of yellow. Now it's a little bit more like a gold. All right, there's a the championship belt. So yeah, so I was saying is we wanna make sure that our friend doesn't feel alone. So we're gonna draw uh, like just this kind of like circles in the background. And you're like, what? Is this person wrestling in soap? No, it's not soap. This is how I'm going to try to capture a crowd, like a capacity crowd watching, watching what's happening here is all these circles are like faces of people in the background. Um, and, uh, and they're cheering. <laughs> Hooray! Right? They're, they're really happy for our, our shark friend. And of course, he's probably going, Grr, right? Because <laughs> why not? Um, so all we need to do now to really wrap this up is give that crowd a little bit of a look. I'm going to take a purple pencil and I'm going to just color in this back part here. It doesn't matter if I get the people or not, right? This is to signify our background, our nice purple crowd who's cheering and, uh, and is thrilled that our wrestling shark champion in a tutu has just won the whole thing. That's pretty exciting. How exciting is it that we got to witness the crowning of a new champion? Check it out. Our tutu ballerina shark has won the entire thing. And I think that's pretty cool. Thanks so much for drawing. I love drawing with you as always. And I'll see you again next time. Take care now.